Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have, oh, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I have a Glenn Farkless family cast from 2003. So it comes in this nice little hole of the wooden box. So you can open it up and then you pull out the bottle and you actually have here a nice little booklet. I think it's like 30 pages thick. Here you have four very strong magnets, so you can see those there and there and then there and there. And when you close it, it actually, and look, I can hold it. I can actually hold it with the, bo the bottle inside and it doesn't open. I need more force, so somebody actually thought about what they were doing. Well done, well done, guys. Um, the family cast, so you have here the, all the information. Going back here in the early years, I mean, come on, guys, yeah, good stuff. All the way up here um, until the end. This was printed in 2013, so it's been a while. So this is written um, by John L. Um, S. Grant, chairman of Gunning Fire Class 2018. Okay, good, but copyrighted 2013, which makes no sense. No, who knows? And here, of course, you have a nice little family cast from the year 1957. Yeah, we'll never see that. I'm so sorry. I paid, um, what did I pay for this exactly? 189 euros and 90 cents. This is Whiskey Base 127350. And the very special thing about this is, and I really, really wanted this bottle, is this nice little um, comment down here. Fourth fill butt. Now, that's the question of the day. Have you ever had a fourth fill sherry butt? I haven't. Now, if you look at the color here, um, it's fairly light. Look at that. Look at that. It looks um, like a normal 12-year-old um, Cognomorg, 12-year-old whatever else you want to talk about. Um, it's not that heavy. 58.3%. Um, and the next thing that I really like is the back of the label. Look at this. It's empty. <laughs> I just, it's just empty. Come on, guys. You just put a... We have 612 bottles with an empty label. The Family Cask, 2003, cask number 1963. So 1963, when you type that into Whiskey Base, you get, of course, all the whiskeys bottled or um, distilled 1963. And it's a winner 2018 edition. So Glenn Farclays established 1863. Our History in Your Glass, The Spirit of Independence, www.glenfarkless.com. So why not? Why not? So um, it was bottled on the 6th of um, November, December 2018. And it's the winter 2018 edition, and it was distilled in 2003. Why they don't have the exact date on here. If it's a family cast, they should know. But who knows? I don't know. Um, what a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Good. Um, the nose. Now, the thing that really surprises, disturbs, and um, is going to haunt me here is I'm getting like zero, zero, zero sherry. This could have been, for all I matter, from my blind tasting here, a perfect example of a bourbon cask maturation. I have some apricots. I have a little bit of a pineapple moment. This is basically 2003, 2018, maybe 15 years old. Cast strength, 58.3%. 190 euros. If I was to nose this and to taste it, one second. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's a nice 80 euro whiskey. No sherry. Hardly any sherry. I don't. I don't get any sherry. The wood influence is very, very minimal. I would have said this is a reused hogshead, a tired hogshead. A um, couple more years would have been a little bit better, but this is nice. And that's the problem. If I'm going for a Glen Farkless family cask, I'm going to. I want sherry. Glen Farkless uses exclusive sherry casks. They buy at the bodega down at the at Jerez. Um, they work with a distiller with a bodega down there for like last 45, 50 years, generations. And then they use this the first time, the second time, the third time, and then the fourth time. And I must really admit that I'm a little disappointed about this fourth fill of sherry, but as I do not get the sherry moment. 
Um, I do have a second one, a second family cast that I also bought and also did a bottle share with both of these. And this is 2004, and this is a refill sherry hogshead. So it's a little bit darker, and I'll be doing a second video about this. This will be my comparison um, whiskey for that second video. So make sure you watch that as well. Um, nice. This is this is a a B minus whiskey. Um, let's add a tiny bit more and a little bit of water. So perfect. I prefer this around 50, uh, 52 percent. So maybe that's the reason why I like um, Glen Farquhar's 105 so much. It's 60 percent, and I do like to dilute it down a tiny little bit, and then mm, I it's tired casks, a tiny little bit of almonds. I get um, apric apricot jam. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. But not wow. I in my German video I actually pulled out the 17-year-old um Glenn Fackles. I'll do this again. Um this is a, a store pick from Soul of Whiskey. Now watch my expressions here. Or listen to me. One second. I'm not going to try to over exaggerate, but mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Ah. <laughs> I like this is the sherry. It's not a monster, but it's very, very well done. Uh, price of 60 some euros excellent excellent price value for money for what you get here it's only it's only 43 percent um this was it's 58.3 um, percent is just not doing it for me uh, it's not giving me the love i actually wanted it's a good whiskey don't get me wrong it's an 80 to 90 euro whiskey and not 190 euro whiskey that's my whole problem here and my second problem is if i'm going I'm, if i'm going to buy glen Farkless, i want to have that sherry kick I just don't get it here. So um, this is going to get a B minus, C plus plus, and value for money. <laughs> D. This is not the worth of money that you, I paid for that. So question of the day, have you had any other fourth filled um, casks that were actually written on it for fourth fill? I recently did a second fill, Pedro Jiménez here from Loch Lomond. Was a store pick as well from over here in Germany, but I never had a third fill. And this is the first time I've actually consciously tried a fourth fill. Not my cup of tea. That's the way things are. All right. Thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, tell others about this crazy guy over in Europe tasting whiskeys you will probably never, ever see or never, ever find. That's the way things are sometimes. Thank you very much. Please share. Please like. Please subscribe. And please tell others. Bye-bye.